In this video, we're going to look at how the circle of fifths can be modified in order to determine the key signature and pitch composition of a minor scale directly without having to find the relative major scale first. Now, in order to do this, we need to remember that C major is the major scale that has no sharps and no flats, and if C is Do in the C major scale, which it obviously is because C major starts on C, if we count to the sixth pitch, the La of C, C, D, E, F, G, A would be La, and therefore A minor is the relative minor of C major, and therefore we can simply rearrange the circle of fifths to be centered on A minor rather than C major, and from that, every other aspect of the circle of fifths works identically. For example, every time we go up a perfect fifth rather than from C major, from A minor instead, we add one sharp to the key signature, and likewise, every time we go down a perfect fifth, again, instead of from C major, this time from A minor, we would add one flat instead, and as long as we remember the order of sharps, Father Charles goes down and ends battle, and if we reverse the order in order to find the order of flats, battle ends, and down goes Charles' father. Now we have all of the information that we need in order to use the circle of fifths to directly determine the key signature and pitch composition of a minor scale. For example, we are going to start with a sharp key, C-sharp minor, in this case. So if we want to use the circle of fifths method, uh, we know that C-sharp minor is a sharp key, and therefore we would be counting perfect fifths above A minor. So if we count, A, B, C, D, E is one perfect fifth, so E minor is going to have one sharp. E, F, G, A, B is two perfect fifths above A minor, so B minor is going to have two sharps, B, C, D, E, F, but we remember that we're in sharp keys right now, and F sharp is the first sharp that we add in a key signature, so this is going to be F sharp minor is going to have three sharps, and if we count up a perfect fifth from F sharp, F sharp, G, A, B, C, which is going to have a, a C sharp as well, we can find that we need to go one, two, three, four perfect fifths above A before we get to C sharp, and therefore C sharp minor is going to have four sharps, which according to the order of sharps is going to be F, C, G, and D. So if we write those sharps in our key signature like this, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp, and if we actually write the scale, so let's just position C sharp here, and this is going to be our la. So if we sing the minor scale as we go up, la ti do re mi fa sol la, and there is our C sharp minor or C sharp natural minor scale. Now, what you'll find is if you actually do this first by finding the relative major of C sharp minor, well, we can find that relatively easily because if C sharp is la, all we need to do is go la ti do, and we see that do in this case is E. And we know that E major, uh, if we follow the same pattern on the circle of fifths, we know that E major is going to have four sharps, which is exactly what we found when we use the circle of fifths to determine the key signature of C sharp minor. So regardless of whether you use the circle of fifths to find the key signature of the relative major scale first, or directly to find the key signature of the minor scale Either way, the circle of fifths works as long as you understand to center minor keys on A minor rather than C major. Now, the obvious question is, does this work for flat keys as well? Well, let's test that out right now. So in this case, we're looking for the key signature of G minor, which is a flat key. So here we would count, be counting perfect fifths below A in this case. So if we count backward, 
A, G, F, E, D. So this means that D minor is going to have one flat. And if we count backwards from D, D, C, B, A, G. So because we have counted down two perfect fifths from A minor in order to get to G minor, this means that G minor is going to have two flats in its key signature. And if we use the order of flats, we know the first two flats are battle ends, B and E. So we can put B flat and E flat in our key signature here and construct the scale of G minor. So if G is here, la, if we sing our scale going up, um, actually, that's going to be uncomfortably high for me as a bass, so let's go la, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, and there is our G minor scale, and once again, if you want to check to see if the relative major matches up with what we found, uh, G is la in this case, so if we count up to do, la, ti, do, we see that Do is going to be B flat, and from the circle of fifths, we know that B flat major also has two flats, which shows us that the relative major and minor scales match up as well, so either way, this works. Before we move on to the next two videos that look at variations on the natural minor scale, try the practice problems below first by using the circle of fifths to directly determine what the minor scale is going to be based on the number of sharps and flats in these key signatures, and then see if you can use the circle of fifths in order to directly determine both the key signature and the pitch composition of the scale for each of the practice examples below. Below.